Okay guys, so today we are making, we are exploring chemical reactions using vinegar and baking soda. And then you guys can also use food coloring if you want. So you guys can change the color of the vinegar. You don't have to. Um, it will be included in your kits in case you guys decide to use it. So first things first, you guys will get uh, vinegar in a bottle and then, or two bottles, one empty, one with vinegar. Divide it in half, maybe even less. You don't want it to have too much because then it'll explode and fill the balloon with liquid and you just want it to be filled with gas. So first things first, we need to make the funnel so we can pour the baking soda in our balloons. So let's make the funnel first. You guys will be using the same ones we used for the density experiment, right? So something like this, tip open, and then you will use the name tags that you get. So you guys can tape it. Just like that. Uh, next step is to stretch out the balloon. Right? Stretch both of them out. All right, then we grab our baking soda. And you have to hold the funnel in place. that. This is a lot harder than I thought. And then we'll keep pouring and pouring. So the idea is that we have two different quantities. Right, so that's how much baking soda is in this balloon. Right, so for the next one, we want to do less than that. That way, we can see how much how the amount of baking soda changes how much gas we produce. Right. Let's do this again for this one. Oh, that's not good. in here yeah see so this is definitely less so this is how much we have right here compared to how much we have over here this one has more and so then the next step is to grab it grab the balloon put it over the top of the bottle make sure it's as far down as you can make it go so it doesn't fly off or anything stretch it over so that this is over it because that is where the baking soda will drop out at right and so then you grab the edge of the balloon and you dump it in there see and so that is how that happens and then you can even feel the liquid down here and that's not really what we want right see but then the liquid goes down so it might be okay and then you can actually feel it because it is cold and so one way that you can tell it's a chemical reaction is because it produces gas so that's a chemical reaction between the vinegar and the baking soda all so then we have two balloons. And that is it. 